I'll play with you. Do you want to play rap? Say hello to my little friend! Say hello to my little friend! Hey there, everyone, this is uh, Ray Carcello for Classic Game Room, and today we're going to be looking at Scarface The World is Yours for the Nintendo Wii from Vivendi Universal. Everyone knows that line. Even if you've never even seen the movie, you've probably at least heard of the scene at the end of Scarface where his mansion is being stormed by a rival's henchman and he pulls out a machine gun and starts going to town in one last blaze of glory. Unfortunately, at the end, our anti-hero bites the big one, but the video game, well, wants to spin a slightly different tale. Starting with you replaying that iconic scene, Scarface The World Is Yours gives you a chance to change Tony's fate and fight your way out of the mansion in a coke-induced rage and make your way to safety. Being only the first level of the game, the developers are kinda banking on you that you're gonna succeed from there and you'll have a chance to rebuild Tony's drug empire in your own image. Bigger and better than before, hopefully, too. Similar to a GTA or Godfather-style sandbox, Scarface The World Is Yours is set in the expansive area of early 1980s Miami and Cuba. Scarface The World Is Yours will have you do every dirty deed possible in order to help Tony regain his empire, from bumping off rivals to strong-arming gang lords who want to move in on your newly reacquired territory, to laundering all your dirty drug money. And there is a lot of dirty drug money to be had in Miami, and especially Cuba. If 100 grams of coke goes for 10 grand in Miami, Imagine what will happen when you bring back 10,000 grams from Havana. Of course, a large part of the game is having places to dump off your coke. Dealers can only push so much product so fast, so a large portion of the game is Tony doing favors for various unhappy business owners in order to gain these businesses as fronts. A front can push a lot more coke than an individual dealer, so it becomes critical to have these in terms of both crippling your competition as well as building up your own bank. You work for me, and we go straight to the top. How'd you like that? Another similarity to this in other GTA-style games is, of course, the shooting. Tony has a bevy of guns at his disposal and will need them to complete many of the tasks set before him. He has to be careful, though. Not only will killing too many people send the cops after him, but it could stir up the waiting hornet's nest of local gangs who are looking for an excuse to push Tony out of the way. Plus, if he kills too many people, he could be thinning out his potential buyer's market. And this will drive down the cost of his coke. In the movie, Tony exclaims at one point that, All I really have is my word and my balls. And I never break either of them for anyone, no matter what. Forgive my horrible impression there, but will Tony's balls play a, another major role in this game as his balls meter allows him to go into a similar coke-driven rage that you started the game with and allows you to shoot faster with stronger bullets, regain health from every kill you make, and take almost no damage whatsoever. Basically, when Tony's balls get big enough, he becomes invincible. On top of the always fun GTA-style gameplay, and listening to the ranting and raving of one of the most over-the-top characters in movie history, the game also gets a series of great performances from people from all over Hollywood. Al Pacino was unavailable to lend anything more than his likeness, but the likes of James Woods, Jay Moore, and Anthony Anderson, amongst many, many more familiar names, lend their voices to smaller characters to help flesh out Tony's world and his expanding empire. On top of this, there's also a tremendous soundtrack from everybody from Cool and the Gang to Judas Priest. The only real downside to Scarface The World Is Yours is that the graphics aren't very crisp. No surprise with this being the Wii, and there is a lack of replay value once you completely reclaim your empire due to no multiplayer options. Mind you, the campaign will still take you probably 20 to 25 hours to get through because it's simply massive, but that might deter you from making this a permanent part of your collection. Overall though, Scarface The World Is Yours is a great product and is definitely worth at least a rental on your Gamefly account. Okay, I'm ready. Bring it to me. Hey, watch my shit, man. 